Welcome to Zacatecas, Mexico, known for its rich deposits of silver and colonial architecture. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Zacatecas. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Zacatecas, Mexico. Population around 1.6 million. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Zacatecas. Zacatecas is three hours from Durango and five and a half hours from Guadalajara. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Zacatecas. People love Zacatecas because of Museo Rafael Coronel. The excellent Museo Rafael Coronel is not to be missed imaginatively housed in the ruins of the lovely 16th century ex convento to San Francisco. It houses Mexican folk art collected by Zacanacan artist Rafael Coronel, brother of Pedro Coronel and son-in-law of Diego Rivera. Take your time to wander through the various spaces by following the arrows. The collection of masks is truly incredible as are collections of totems, pottery, puppets and other fascinating objects. All labeling is in Spanish only. After you've admired the treasures within, relax among the trees and slightly disturbing statues and sculptures in the surrounding gardens. People love Zacatecas because of Museo Pedro Coronel. The Museo Pedro Coronel is housed in a 17th century former Jesuit college and is one of provincial Mexico's best art museums. Pedro Coronel, 1923 to 1985, was an affluent Zacatecan artist who bequeathed to the city his collection of art and artifacts from all over the world as well as his own. The collection includes 20th century works by Picasso, Dali, Goya and Miro and pre-Hispanic Mexican artifacts, masks and other ancient pieces. People love Zacatecas because of Ciro de la Bufa. The most appealing of the many explanations for the name of the hill that dominates Zacatecas is that Bufa is an old Basque word for wineskin, which is apparently what the rocky formation looks like. The views from the top are superb and there is an interesting group of monuments, a chapel and a museum. It is also the site of a zip line, a one kilometer ride across a former open pit mine. Once up the hill you can also visit Capilla de la Virgen de Patrocinio. Named after the patron saint of miners, this 18th century chapel has a holy image of the Virgin del Patrocinio above its altar that is said to be capable of healing the sick. Standing next to the chapel are three imposing equestrian statues of the victors of the Battle of Zacatecas. To the right of the statues, a paved path along the foot of the rocky hilltop leads to Mausoleo de los Hombres Ilustre de Zacatecas with the tombs of Zacatecan heroes from 1841 to the present. A convenient way to ascend La Bufa to the Church and Museum is by Teleforico. People of Zacatecas because of Mina El Aden. Visiting one of Mexico's richest mines, 1586 to 1960s, provides an insight into the source of wealth and a terrible price paid for it. Digging for hordes of silver, gold, iron, copper and zinc, enslaved indigenous people worked in horrific conditions. Up to five people a day died from accidents or tuberculosis. These days it's rather different. A miniature train takes you inside Ciro del Grillo while guides lead you along floodlit walkways past shafts and over subterranean pools. People love Zacatecas because of the cathedral. Built between 1729 and 1752, the Pink Stone Cathedral is an ultimate expression of Mexican Baroque. The stupendous main facade is a wall of detailed carvings. This has been interpreted as a giant symbol of the tabernacle. Indeed, a tiny figure of an angel holding a tabernacle is in the middle of the design, the keystone atop the round central window. Above this, in the third tier, is Christ and above Christ is God. The southern facade's central sculpture is of the Virgin of Zacatecas, the city's patroness. The north facade shows Christ crucified, attended by Virgin Mary and St. John. Unveiled in 2010, the grand altar is the work of Javier Marin, a famous Mexican artist. It features 10 large bronze figures and the figure of Christ arranged on a backdrop of golden blocks. 
people of Zacatecas because of Museo Toma de Zacatecas. This museum memorializes a 1914 battle fought on the slopes of the Serra de la Bufa in which the revolutionary division of the north led by Pancho Villa and Felipe Angeles defeated President Victoriano Huerta's forces. This gave the revolutionaries control of Zacatecas which was the gateway to Mexico City. The Child Friendly Museum was reopened in 2014 after a full renovation is a technological delight with talking ghosts, actual footage of the battle and all kinds of other interactive displays. People of Zacatecas because of the Capilla de la Virgen del Patrocinio. Named after the patron saint of miners, this 18th century chapel has a holy image of the Virgin de Patrocinio above its altar that is said to be capable of healing the sick. Thousands of pilgrims flock here each year on September 8th when the image is carried to the city's cathedral as part of the Feria de Zacatecas. People of Zacatecas because of Museo del Art Abstracto Manuel Felgueras. This superb abstract art museum is worth visiting for the building alone. Originally a seminary, it was later used as a prison and has been renovated to create some remarkable exhibition spaces, transforming the former dark, depressing cells and steel walkways into a beautiful site. It has a stunning and varied collection of abstract painting and sculpture, particularly the works of Zacatecan artist Manuel Felgueras. People of Zacatecas because of the Plaza de Armas. The city's main plaza is north of the cathedral and although normally quiet in the day, it buzzes at night with families promenading, children playing and occasionally live music. The Palaceo de Gobierno on the plaza's east side was built in the 18th century for a colonial family. In the turret of its main staircase is a mural of the history of Zacatecas State, painted in 1970 by Antonio Rodriguez. People of Zacatecas because of Palacio de la Mala Noche. Built in the late 18th century for a mine owner, the building's unusual name, Bad Night Palace, is accounted for by a local legend that its former owner, fearing imminent ruin, gave the last bits of his fortune away to a woman on the street and waited for the bailiffs to arrive the next day. Instead, however, it was miners who called the following morning to announce the discovery of a massive seam of gold. It now houses state government offices. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Zacatecas. If you've got a reason why you love Zacatecas, pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!